Good evening and welcome to New Year's Eve Eve, the penultimate day of 2020. And as New Year's is rapidly approaching, when we think New Year's, we think champagne. And New Year's Day, we think leftover champagne, provided that you purchased the proper amount. And you might ask yourself, what am I supposed to do with this leftover champagne? And the first thing that will pop in your mind is, we should make mimosas. Why not? It's champagne and orange juice. Everybody knows about it, but it's boring and it's uninspiring. So today I'm going to offer you three alternatives to the classic mimosa. Uh, first thing we're going to start with is the French 75. We are using the gin version, not the Tourniac version. We have here a bottle of blue coat made in Philadelphia. It's a London dry style. And you're supposed to use fresh lemon juice for this, but I'm lazy. Bottle is fine. This uh, recipe calls for half ounce of lemon juice, half ounce of simple syrup, and an ounce of gin. We're going to take the bottom part of our shaker glass, line up our thumb with it, and pour our lemon juice until our thumb is covered. We are going to repeat that until we have double the volume with our simple. Then going to add ice. I'm going to add gin. We're only doing a two or three count. And then we are going to affix the top part of our shaker and shake vigorously. And then you move our shaker top, put our strainer in, grab glass number one. And we are going to strain, leaving enough room to top with our champagne. Stay. While that's settling, we're going to add a twist of lemon. This time I have my lemon twist. Get her ready and the lemon out. So nice long twist on our lemon. And uh, garnish such that it is draped over the side. And that is the classic original French 75. I'm going to put this aside and start on our next drink, which is the peach bellini. Now, if you're doing this properly, you uh, go to the store ahead of time, you buy a big bottle of Lusa peach nectar that you'll use a tenth of, and then you'll toss it before it goes off. I did not have time to do that. I did have time to go to the dollar store and get peaches and light syrup, and I have a blender, and I pureed this beforehand. If anybody asks, I did not tell you it was okay to do this. We are going to take our peach puree and fill the glass third to a quarter up. Add 
and then fill with champagne. Let it settle, add more until you're all full up. And then you're going to reach over and grab a straw. Normal straw is fine because you're just going to give it a little bit of agitation. And then wipe off your table. And discard your straw. Peachy. And third and finally, if you really want to get cute about it, you can make yourself a mermaid mimosa. Start with an ounce of melon liqueur. If you're doing that properly, you'll, you'll use Midori. Two and a half counts fine. Shake your pineapple juice. Up to about uh, one third of the glass, or a little more. So you have that nice green color. Then you're going to add your blue crosso. Just enough to get the color effect you want. And top of champagne. Pour slowly along the side of the glass so as not to terribly disturb the colors and do not make a mess. And if it's looking a little too much green, you can always add just a Dash more blue cross, yeah? And there you have it, the mermaid mimosa. I'm just going to place these uh, in the frame here so we can see. Again, French 75. The peach bellini. And the mermaid mimosa. I hope these uh, make your post New Year's celebrations a little more festive. And uh, please be sure to drink safely and responsibly and have a happy New Year.